Okay, so this is the Scalar open source repository, and this is where you can get started with our open API specification documentation tool, or Swagger, if you're familiar with OAS 2.0. So our integrations are, you can go right from a CDN with Vue.js. We also have, a, or React, we also have a bunch of server frameworks. Uh, so Fastify, Hono, Express, Nest, and also Elysia.js. Um, and kind of what Scalar is, is here we'll jump into the demo you can kind of drop in your uh, open api specification so this is pet store you can preview it and you get really amazing documentation uh, so there's tags endpoints we have full offline search um, so you get search right in the browser go to it we show the responses also the different code snippet languages you can use um, and then the really, really cool feature is that you can test endpoints right in the browser. So we have a full dedicated testing client that goes over. So it feels really seamless. Um, and you can change variables, auth, cookies, the body, send out the request. Um, and then you can see all the responses right here. And then also you can see the full history of your uh, requests right there, which is really great. And one of the really, really cool things about Scalar too is uh all of the theming we have so it's really easy to add customization so this is the moon theme purple solarized um and then we have dark mode and light mode so it's really really easy to make amazing documentation uh with fantastic themes um to your brand so i'll walk through some of the cool themes we made with some of our integrations so what was recently announced is elysia made scalar the the default, uh, which is absolutely amazing. So now the default documentation for Elysia that you get when you're building APIs is actually Scalar. And let me jump through into what that actually looks like code-wise. So here's an Elysia app, uh, really straightforward. You just import uh, the Elysia Swagger package and you use it, you can change some information about it. And then when you're building your uh, when you're actually building your framework or your server side code, you can you get your all of your actual endpoints. Um, and then when you run, uh, I think it's fun, run source index.ts. Um, let's go to, uh, what is the, sorry, what's the port now? This is classic. I think it was 3000. Yeah, let's do uh, 3100. Um, so now if you go, if you go to Swagger, which is where the endpoint is, this is what your documentation actually looks like for all of your endpoints. So you get pretty much free documentation. And this is the Elysia JS theme that we built, which is amazing. Cam did such a fantastic job. So That's light cool. mode, dark mode, it's got all of the parameters fully typed. Everything's right there and zero work, which is really cool. So Elysia JS is great. You can go check it out, super fast, love it. Uh, and the community is really, really nice. Um, so this is one of the examples. Uh, we also have um, inside of the repository, we have an examples folder, which goes through all of our integrations. So there's Hono.js, which again, it's super easy to get started. You just import the Scalar API reference. And then depending on your experience with Hono and, and you, you know it very well, or if you're, maybe you're new to it, you can create routes, add kind of decorators to it, describe the uh, endpoints. And then this is, again, the Hono theme that we built. So this is the API being described by Scalar through the Open API specification. And again, light mode, dark mode, we have offline search. You can go check out each one and then you can test out the endpoints. And what's really magical about this integration too is that it goes right to the server. So you can actually test out the, the API that you're building in real time with Scalar, um, which is something really, really cool. So if you can get really great docs, cool theme, test out your API while you're building it, which is really sweet. We also have the Fastify integration. So Fastify is, these are all just really amazing frameworks. So Fastify is kind of the super fast and kind of the de facto standard right now for, for Node.js. Um, I think it's one of the most popular frameworks. Again, we have npm install uh, at Scalar Fastify API reference. It's really easy to add it. 
And then boom, after you've done your, your API coding and you're going, you're excited, you get these amazing docs for free with the, um, with the, with the theme right there. So this is something that's really great. We also have express, um, which is awesome. And then this is the, uh, nest JS theme that we built as well. So all of the framework frameworks that we support, um, let me just go to the repo can be uh, followed through from the getting started page, which is great. And we also have the full configuration here so you can configure everything. And we also have, um, we actually just released, I haven't even, I think this got merged this morning, um, <laughs> but we actually have a classic, classic layout. So, uh, kind of similar to what you're familiar with, with Swagger UI. Um, and it works really well if you only have one tag, but, um, that's the, 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 theme, the layout that I was showing was the modern one. Um, but yeah, you can also use our classic layout. Um, and that's really easy to change. You just pass them into the config, uh, with layout. But we also walk through how to actually theme and style your scalar docs. Um, right here, it's just all through CSS variables. Cam did a really great job showing the visualization on what everything is, which is great. Um, and yeah, so we're super excited about, about this. And um, the, this is all the open source uh, integrations. But if you want to use, um, if you go to scalar.com, we actually have the uh, hosted version, uh, which is here. So this is, this is docs.scalar.com. So as, you, as I showed before, this is the references. You can import your Swagger spec, preview it right here. But if you need long form content, we built this notion like editor. Um, so you can write longer form content if you need guides or getting started pages. Um, right now, everything is done in the app, but we are working on a Git markdown sync feature because we know people like to have their uh, docs and code. Um, so that's something we're really excited about. And we have lots of really fantastic uh, integrations like math. Um, we built all of this using TipTap. TipTap's amazing. I highly recommend if people are looking for uh, to build rich text editors to use TipTap. Um, I've been using it for like six years. Um, and again, customization, we have it really easy to change themes um, and customize themes and light mode, dark mode. And, uh, and then when you're ready to publish, um, you make an account and you can either publish on a API documentation.com subdomain or your own uh, custom domain. And, um, and yeah, that, that's, that's scalar in a, in a nutshell. So docs that are open source, but then also we have a, a paid host version in case you, in case that is what you need. Wow. I, I love it. This, this whole thing looks very, very good to see you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's super easy to, oh, I totally forgot about this as well, but we have um, a CDN version. Also, um, where is it? So it's super easy to just drop in. You just put in the, you import the uh, script tag right there from JS deliver. You give it an ID to mount to, and then you can just drag, uh, drag this in. And this is just with the pet store example. So really easy to integrate into your existing apps uh, or however, however you're doing it, just in case we don't have any integrations built out yet for you. So. It's really simple to swap out for Redockly or Swagger UI or whatever your existing solution is. That was the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And for complex parameters like uh, arrays and objects, I saw that you guys have like nesting support and stuff. And that is yeah, yeah. We support um, models, everything, right? Yeah, we have models. Um, yeah, I can I can show it. Um, we have models. We have. Uh, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, so enums, any nested attributes, everything gets dereferenced too. So if you have models, you can go down here and we show all the types. Also, we preview the examples too, which is really helpful. So any, and then this is a great example because we actually show nested right here. Um, so yeah, we support Swagger, which is OAS 2.0, and we also support uh, open API spec three three point and up, um, and then when I think it's going to be called right now it's Operation Moonwalk, but it's going to be Open API spec four point We will be supporting that at launch as well. I think hopefully <laughs> later this year. I don't really know 
I don't really know what their target is for that, but I'm excited for it. It looks great. Yeah, sounds very exciting. Phenomenal. Awesome. It's good. Thank you. Thank you so much for the demo, Mark. What I think, if people are really excited about it, the biggest thing I can really uh, advocate for is, is open source is beautiful where you can just jump into any project and you can kind of see the source code, contribute, finding a community, uh, getting getting started. And I remember the first time I contributed to open source, it was with this open source project called Jasper. Uh, I th- and it was created by Charlie and, oh, I forget, um, Shiro, Shiro, I forget, I forget their names, but they created like an always on voice controlled uh, system built on top of the Raspberry Pi. It was kind of like the Iron Man uh, Jarvis, but it was called Jasper. And actually, Charlie's the creator of, of Rough, uh, which if you're familiar with the Python linter, like that's just, it's been unbelievable to, to watch that absolutely grow. Speaking of open source, so uh, I remember I sent an email to, to Charlie uh, asking if I could contribute. This was like back in 2014. Um, and they were incredibly kind and gave me some, some guidance because I was still in university. I didn't really know what I was, I had no idea what I was doing. But that just kind of shows the beauty of open source and people that are genuine and excited because they put in the effort to kind of help this person who was very new to Python and just open source. And I was able to to go and contribute. And I built like the Google Calendar, uh, Twitter, all these other integrations so people could just chat and ask like, hey, what do I have on my calendar today? Which, you know, 10 years ago, it's that was pretty exciting. But I think I think the best thing you can really do is if you're trying to get started, is looking for a community that you're excited to contribute to. And um, those people that built that are very excited to have you come in and contribute. And then I think when you go to the natural progression of you wanting to build something open source, or maybe you're starting there, I think the reverse just happens where people are going to be excited about what you're building and fostering that that community of empathy. And and people are just going to be really excited to to collaborate. So so I think yeah, just be be genuine and 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 go contribute to some open source repositories you're excited about. That's like the best advice I can give. And then also, you know. If you're interested in open API specification, view, uh, API docs as a whole, testing, uh, scaler, come, come, come check out github.com forward slash scaler, uh, forward slash scaler is the, the repo for that. And, um, we also have a discord. I'm incredibly act. The whole team's incredibly active. Uh, if you have any questions looking for, uh, issues to get started on, uh, we're, we're here and we're excited. And, and this is the, the thing that we wake up for that we're excited to work on every single day. So. If that's something that you're excited about, then I would highly recommend checking out this. And also, I just love to hear and see what people are building. Uh, so even agnostic of, of using Scalar, it's, it's just fun to see uh, what people are building in the open source world. 